Good morning. I want to show you what it looks like here in fall in Montana. There's the Swan Mountains, the Rocky Mountains that go up into Canada. And you can see all that color up on the mountains. See all that? The larch and the birch trees. You can see just tons of color up there. It's beautiful. I haven't gotten to get up there hiking yet. I want to. It's cold. It's very. I'm cold right now. I need my heater on. Okay, we'll start with the video. Okay, here we are with the video. I just wanted to show you what it looks like out front today. I have my little cutter here and I'm cutting this thin scrapbook paper, the thinner stuff, at one and a half inches. And sometimes you can get two out of the whole length. What is this, 12 inch long paper? So it's just one and a half inches wide. And I'm going to start. I'll show you something else I'm making too. Let me show you. I am cutting out, I'll be doing a video on these. I'm cutting out all kinds of paper flowers by hand, not using a punch. And I'll be showing you some paper flowers that I'm doing. I just have a bunch of different colors all set up. This kind of like has a rose kind of little tips on it. I'm just cutting all different kinds. Rounded tips. So, those will be next. Okay, so one and a half inches wide by, I think it's 12 inches long, and you can, I can usually get two out of this. And you start folding it over and just meeting the edges right here to make a triangle. See that triangle? And then from here, you just start carefully making more triangles. Make sure it goes to the edge. You want it kind of precise. Just keep doing it real tight. And you're going to stop on this end because you have a pocket right here. I don't know if you can see this. See how there's a little pocket right here? I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to cut these edges off so I have a little tag to go tuck under this little because if you kept it right here you wouldn't have anything to tuck on you have a folded edge so when you stop it right here you have it's a, it, it's a folded edge but then it has a little pocket here so I just take and put my paper inside there fold it get it kind of tight I take and cut just the corners off to make it look like my heart. Just kind of round it. See? Just like that, round the tips. And then I hang on to it and I don't let it go flying. And I press on it. Sometimes it doesn't want to press. And I put something in here. And then you have a heart. I'll show you on this one. Just like that. Just take and you just take and press on this. And it makes your heart. And you have to play with them a little bit. Like this one, it's too many pieces. It's only one piece. You want a little bit more. They're easy just to, just like that. I'm just take and put something in here and fix that bent part. There you go. Okay, so there it is. It, see, you just have to play with it. And here are my mini hearts. If you can see them. little puffed mini hearts. You can put them on a string, you can put them, add them to, put them in a glass vase. Just a bunch of little puffed hearts. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.